So hopefully we're in for a good bit of weather this summer and I can get to wash and spend a little bit more time on my car than I can do in the winter months. And it got me thinking that there's a lot of products that I primarily tend to use in summer and I have sort of different products that I use at different times of the year. So what I wanted to do in this video is share some of my favourite summer products that I use to look after my car. So usually it's a little bit drier at this time of year so I don't get quite as much build up of traffic film on the car but what I do get instead is a lot of bugs stuck onto the front of the vehicle and on the wing mirrors as well and this is particularly common if you're driving on anything high speed, dual carriageways, motorways and things like that. Now there are a few different options that I use to tackle this. What I have got recently is a dedicated bug remover by Autoglans that they did kindly send. Now I do think this is good because it does have more of a gel like consistency so it does tend to dwell for a little bit longer. However I have had good success using things like this which is just a citrus pre-wash, a dilutable one so a little bit better value for money. This one in particular is from Ballet Pro and I use this at around 1 to 6, 1 to 8 depending what mood I'm in. And I definitely do find that I benefit from using either a dedicated bug remover or a citrus pre-wash just before I apply my snow foam to make sure that the bugs on the front of the car are tackled properly as from my experience snow foam doesn't tend to be too great at removing them. So as I said I don't tend to struggle as much with the traffic film on my car at this time of year just because it's not raining quite as often and that mud's getting splashed up but I do still need to pre-wash the car properly to make sure that it is clean enough for the contact wash and obviously reduce the risk of inflicting any damage. So I do still snow foam the car but typically where I use alkaline products in winter when there's a lot heavier traffic film, I can get away with using some milder snow foams, particularly if the weather hasn't been quite as bad. Now I have two snow foams here that I do particularly like using at this time of year because they do have a very good dwell time and just don't have as much of a tendency to dry out as other snow foams that I've found. Some snow foams that I've tried in the past, like the Built Humble ones, are quite thin, so tend to dry out reasonably quickly on the panel. And even very thick ones that I have tried tend to sort of break up as they go down the panel rather than leave the panel completely wet. So I do have to be a little bit mindful if the weather is a bit warmer. So the two snow foams that I really like here to get the maximum dwell time are Detail Bug Ice Bug, which is a pH neutral one. So I use this when the weather isn't quite as bad as it doesn't have super strong cleaning ability, but it is definitely fine to use on a sort of weekly wash in summer on a protected car. And then I also have Autobrite Magi Foam, which is a little bit stronger and does have quite good cleaning ability. I definitely find that this is a useful one to use. If there has been a bit of rain and there is some more light traffic film on the car, then I'll typically go for something like this, as it does have a really good dwell time, but yeah, can still clean the car very well. So probably a lot of people have been there where they've washed and dried the car and it's all looking good and then they notice some really annoying water spots on the car. Now this is something that definitely happens a lot more in summer obviously with it being warmer and one of the best products that I've found to combat this is this product here. So this is FSE. Now it's actually detail spray but it's well known as being very good at removing water spots. And I do keep a bit of this in my bag because I find it very, very effective if I just notice a few sort of fresh water spots and I can just quickly mop those up after I've washed and dried the car if I do notice them. It's a very straightforward detail spray to use, you just wipe it on and it sort of flashes off very quickly. It's not a product that I'd use on the whole of the vehicle because I just don't really find it necessary and I like to leave my existing protection to kind of do its own thing but it's definitely useful if I do notice the odd water spot after washing the car. Now next up is this product here, so this is a glaze and it's Poor Boys Black Hole and it's quite a popular one this and it's a product that I've had for a very long time and I've gone through multiple bottles of this. Now the reason that I bring out this product in summer is obviously because the sun's coming out a little bit more and if the paintwork maybe has a few minor sort of imperfections on there then they're definitely going to be noticeable when the sun comes out. So this product here is really good at filling in minor imperfections and I found it very useful to bring out on cars where the condition of the paint isn't perfect so I like to apply this in summer so that I can get really really nice looking paint but without having to machine polish and removing any more clear coat than I really want to. So although glazing might be considered a little bit over the top and maybe an extra step that a lot of people don't want to perform, this I find great because it doesn't take long at all to actually go over the vehicle. It spreads really, really nicely and has sort of a cream-like consistency. So you can use it on a dual action polisher or just use it on a regular sort of foam or microfiber pad. And then buffing it off is absolutely effortless. It's such an easy product to use. I've used this in direct sunlight in summer and it's been totally fine even when the panels are warm so it's very forgiving and yeah just really helps to improve the gloss which at this time of year I do find is really really nice. Now when it comes to protecting the paintwork one of my favourite products to use at this time of the year is a wax. Now I know a lot of people tend to prefer sort of spray sealants, maybe spray and rinse sealants as well as they do allow you to protect the vehicle very quickly 
However, I really like actually the process of applying a wax. I find it quite therapeutic. And yeah, just something that I really enjoy when I have a little bit more time and the weather's a bit nicer in the summer months. Now, one of my favorite waxes to use is Squid Ink Aquaphobe. And the one I've got here is actually the version two of this product. This is something that I put on my car last year. And it's actually what I've gone for on my car at the moment. So I've actually paired this with Poor Boy's Black Hole and popped this over the top just to get as much gloss as I possibly can. It has really, really nice water behavior, which is definitely a plus. But what I find really, really enjoyable about this product is the application process. It's one of those waxes where applying it's really, really nice. It spreads very nicely, it's quite oily. And then also buffing it off presents no problems whatsoever. It's a really, really easy wax to use. and. I have, although I probably shouldn't have, used this when the panels are a little bit warmer and haven't run into any issues with this product, which is definitely not something I can say about a lot of other waxes that I've tried. And another thing that I really do enjoy about this product is the scent. Now this has a candy floss scent. So when people are walking past the car and I'm waxing it, everyone always comments that it smells really nice. And I do think that that adds to the overall experience. When there's more time in summer because it's not absolutely chucking it down and you have to rush in because you're really cold, I think applying a wax is quite an enjoyable process. So if there are any products in particular that you really like using at this time of the year, please let me know in the comments as I always do like receiving some recommendations. Thanks very much for watching.